Why is this national park the final stronghold for so many endangered wildflower species? I cannot believe I've managed to find this plant. It's a critically endangered species of wildflower called small fleabane, and it can only be found right here in the New Forest. But it used to be common and widespread across all of the south of England. So what's changed? To answer this question, we need to go back a few thousand years, when the British landscape was a lot wilder, and animals like straight-tusked elephants, horses, moose, and bears were all roaming freely. It was amongst these ecosystems that our wildflowers originally evolved. They relied on these huge mammals to disturb the ground and churn up the soil, which reduced competition, triggered germination, and exposed the ground for seeds to establish. But soon, humans hunted these giant mammals to extinction, and the landscape was transformed for farming. Woodlands were chopped, wetlands were drained, and wildflower populations began to drop. Disturbance of soil caused by farm animals couldn't have the same effect as the now extinct huge mammals because any wildflowers found in agricultural fields were considered weeds and removed. And the intensive practices of modern farming stop wildflowers from ever having the chance to establish because herbicides are used to kill off any plants that are not crops. And fertilisers, which are used to help those crops flourish, create soils that are too nutrient rich to ever support our lovely wildflowers. But here in the New Forest, the National Park is used as common land. While the landscape is kept pretty wild, the commoners are allowed to use their sheep and their cattle to roam freely, grazing at the plants, disturbing the soil, and simulating these ecological conditions that have otherwise been absent from our landscape for thousands of years. And that allows plants, like this small fleabane, to cling on to existence.